It's been a thousand years since Gyeonggi-do used its name. And one man has a mission to fly to Gyeonggi-do, South Korea and look around for historical, cultural, and ecological attractions around Gyeonggi-do. So hey guys, what is up? So today, I'm all prepared. Look, it's my outfit for today. And today, our itinerary is around Suwon only. And we're going first to Suwon Hwasong Fortress. It's near my place, so I'm just going to walk. So, gotcha! So, I'm currently walking my way to the fortress. It's around six, a six minute walk going there. The weather today is quite cold but it's not that sunny. The thing that I like about South Korea is that the weather is so cold that you don't need to perspire unlike in the Philippines. It's really really hot. So it's drizzling a little bit here. Oh my god, please. This is my first day to travel and I don't want it to rain. Oh my god, it's starting to rain. <sighs> So I thought it was kind of far but it didn't took me that long. I guess it wasn't really that like a 6 minute walk. It's merely like a less than a 5 minute walk. So here we are. This is the wall of the Suwon Fortress. So we just need to go to the center of it. We have to go there because that is where the entrance is, I suppose. and it started raining oh my god it started raining and it's quite heavy so let me take cover inside the fortress so that I won't get wet like my first time here and then now it's raining <gasps> I will take cover here for now the rain I think will stop guys don't know the word Gyeonggi-do has been used for over like a thousand years so the reason for this tour is we need to look for historical cultural and ecological tourist spots here in Gyeonggi-do so change of plan guys so we're going to move to our next destination since the weather isn't that good so I guess we won't be able to enjoy the fortress so let's just go back in the afternoon and then proceed to our next destination okay I'm at a taxi right now. I'm going to my second location. Oh my god, it's quite cold here and <laughs> I'm not that prepared. Look at my dress. It's so plain. There's no, not even a single layer of coat. This is such a nice place. So I'm here now at this park and oh my god, I really need a coat right now. It's really, really cold. <gasps> oh, let's do this. Oh my god. I expect Korea to have a lot of places where I can buy a coat, but unfortunately, everything is closed. Closed. Girl, how am I supposed to buy a coat? <sighs> I'm so cold. It's all my fault, but oh, why are they so closed at this time? It's already like 10.30. <gasps> oh, it's cold. I just asked a guy there from 7-Eleven, and then he said that there's a place near here that does coats. Or like jackets because I really need one. <laughs> I just need to calm my body before I get hypothermia. So I'm inside a mall, I think. And still, most of the places are closed. It's already 10.30. And I can find a place to buy a coat. <laughs> it's okay what to do. Yeah, there's really, literally no place here to buy a coat. 
Oh my god, finally I picked my coat. Although it's a girl store, but girl, every store here that sells coats are closed. So I have no choice but to buy this. But it's only 10,000 won. It really keeps me hot and warm. So I guess there's no problem of spending 10,000 won. Okay, let's go now to Walham. Wal. 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 Garden? It's just near this place. So let's go. Oh my god, this park is so beautiful. Like, girl, look at it. Oh, so beautiful. Oh my god, I wish in the Philippines we had this type of like autumn. Oh my god, the dream. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh my god, this is like, ah, oh, I just can't explain how happy I am. Finally, it started to shine. Thank you. I'm so happy. Oh my god, this is such a beautiful place. So we have arrived at the garden. It's right over there. And I'm just loving this place. Seriously, I just don't have any words for it. It's my first time to experience autumn and it's in Korea. Let's go inside that garden. So let's enter the garden. I got this like handbook from this one and then there's like no people around here except for the ones that are like cleaning the grass but based on my research it's like a Chinese ah, it's like a Chinese restaurant it's like a Chinese inspired garden So this garden is based on a traditional Chinese garden in Yongnam, China, which is on the southern part of China and it is based on the garden of the late Ming Dynasty. The architecture is really nice. You won't expect a Chinese garden in Suwon, Korea. So in this place, this one right here is the Oklandang Pavilion. So it's a Chinese pavilion which is named after a plant called Oklan and it's used by the Chinese to like relax and receive guests. So we're now in this part of the garden which is called a wall bang. So it is actually a representation of a Chinese garden. The architecture of this, it goes well with traditional Chinese gardens. raining and then now we're going back to the Suwon Fortress based on the forecast it won't rain this afternoon and this evening so I guess this is the best way to go to that fortress <gasps> my god thank you Lord <laughs> So unfortunately, the trolley service is not available today since it's raining. So we're gonna take the electric bicycle taxi to move around because Suwon Fortress is such a big place.
So we're now here at the temporary palace. So this is being used by the king whenever he's out of the real palace. It's like Yongbukgung. Oh my god, I got almost scared because of those. I thought they were real. Look at the detail. It's so like human-like. So that place is called the Bong Sudang and it was used as a banquet hall of the king. And I guess this is the end of the entire temporary palace. It's like a smaller version of Gyeongbokgung. Wow, just look at it. It's like a map of the entire temporary palace. So I'm going up this trail. I don't know where it's going to lead me. Oh my god, this is so steep. Look. So I'm in a place called the Miro Hanjong. It's on top of this like small mountain and it has a nice view of the palace seriously you can see the entire palace complex from here and a nice view of suwon oh but the steps going down are quite steep so i might slide <laughs> get to the trolley because my manager said that it will be available at 4 o'clock so I'll be going to a place there it's like a pickup place where the Hwasong Fortress trolley begins so I just arrived here at the ticketing office for the trolley and they said it's sold out so huh, I guess we're not destined to use it today so I guess we're going to use the taxi to like go to the the Paldalmon mountain the trolley is just a way to like move around to one faster so this is the trolley unfortunately we will not be able to try that for today but at least we saw it so i have arrived at my destination this is the paldalsan mountain i hope it's still open <laughs> admission okay great we, w we weren't able to use the trolley but today is a free day to use uh, to go up there so girl it's quite it's quite steep. Oh my god. I know it's a mountain, but seriously, it's that steep? <laughs> I'm going to have a try this after this trip. I finally made it on top. Oh my god, I was just about to give up because it was so steep. The stairs were so steep. It was slippery. But we're here at the top of Paldal Mountain. crossbow platform and look at the view oh my god i'm just in time for the sunset and look at that So I'm here now at the bell of Pililial Tolling and if you like rang the bell for three times there are three meanings for it. The first one is for your the gratitude for your parents. Second is for your family's health, also harmony inside the family. And third is for the realization of your dreams. So let's try and toll this bell. <laughs> so guys, before you ring the bell, you need to pay for 1,000 won at the ticketing area over there. So I was supposed to ring the bell and then she called my attention and I thought it was free but yeah, so we can now ring the bell. Oh my god, you can hear it like it's still 
still vibrating. <sighs> it's really cold. So I just ate my dinner and now at my back is the Paldalmon Gate. It's such a comfortable place to travel here in Korea because you have bus, you have the subway, and then you have the cacao taxis. So there's no hustle when going to different places here. So I just arrived here at Flying Suwon and later I will try that helium balloon and go up to the sky. So let's go and get our ticket because it's going to close at 9 o'clock but it's only 7.30 p.m. so we're quite early. Wow! Just bought my ticket. It's worth 18,000 won but what time is it? What time is it going to like... I just don't know the time. Oh my god. I'm going up there. <laughs> like, oh my god. I'm excited but at the same time I'm scared because girl, that's quite high. This is like an experience you don't want to miss. So I guess even if you're afraid of heights, you should try it. So I'm waiting for my ride. I'm gonna wait for about 20 minutes. Huh? Huh? <laughs> there isn't a lot of people waiting here, so it's just us two. And she has a date, and I'm single, and I'm jealous, and I, I need someone to love me. Hello. Oh my god, I'm so scared, but just look at that thing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's my time to ride this. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, I suddenly got scared. Here? Thank you. Oh my god! Oh, it feels safe. Yeah, it's hard metal. And there's only three of us here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is this even real? Like, the fuck? This is happening. Like, <laughs> I'm inside, Shayamai. Just ko Santa Maria ang mahabagi, Santisima Trinidad. Just ko kaya tulungan niyo po ako para mamamatay ako din eh. Nagsisimula na siya! Oh my god, I'm so scared but excited as well. Girl, saglit lang! Ang tumatas na! And we have liftoff! It's getting higher and higher, yeah. Ay, oh my god, oh my god. Wow, it's really high. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I'm okay, but it's going to high. But I'm okay. Woo! Santa Maria, mahabagin at asko. Puta! Darga, just be comfortable. Wag oh, eh, pero tang antas talaga. Wag kang titingin sa baba kasi pucha antas talaga. Just enjoy the view. I'm kind of getting used to it, but my feet are still trembling. Hey guys, so I'm back at my guest house and uh, I'm so tired. Hello? Ah, okay. It was a long day. Like I got to experience different places around Suwon, and it's 
It was a nice experience for me. Well, traveling alone isn't that easy, but sometimes you need to enjoy the company of your own self, like yourself. It's already 9 o'clock here, and tomorrow I need to get up early because I'm going to another place and not in Suwon. The highlight of today's event was the Paldalmon Mountain and the Flying Suwon. I'm not joking, I really got a little bit is it even a little bit? I got scared, okay? I got scared because it was so high and it's like when you're walking in the Flying Suwon, it's moving. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. So please give it a thumbs up if you do like it. And please subscribe to my channel, Archie Life. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Peace. There's a theater, like a theater inside the cave. And